end this video today we're going to teach you guys how to shape your high dough so it can look like this or even like this today we're just going to do the bottom portion we're going to have other videos for top crust but on this video we're doing just the bottom portion of it all right we're going to show you how to shape it and uh, it's quick it's easy and when you're done you can enjoy pies like that nice old pumpkin pie from scratch with a nice crust like that or even you might even like lemon meringue pie so you'll be able to enjoy a nice lemon meringue pie like that and so without further ado let's get into it we're going to roll our crust out on this parchment paper we're going to use a little flour we're going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on top and on the bottom of the uh, parchment paper i'm going to introduce to you my rolling pin as well as a nine inch deep dish bowl that we're going to put our pie crust in Sprinkle a little bit of flour very lightly on this parchment paper. Very, very lightly. You don't need a lot. That should be enough. We've unwrapped our pie dough, our pie crust here, which will be our pie crust. Just going to sprinkle a little flour on top. We don't want the pie dough to stick to the parchment paper. Now we're going to place this to the top and we're just going to roll it out. Just going to roll this dough out. of a spin and just keep rolling until it's completely rolled out. I'm going to roll this out to about 11 inches or so. We just want it to be wider than our bowl. Uh, had our dough, our pie dough out for about an hour and a half, two hours. So it's pretty, uh, I wouldn't say room temperature, but it's uh, swarm enough so that we can roll it out without it cracking. Sometimes when it's too cold, you'll see that the dough will crack. But this seems to be rolling out pretty nicely. We're making progress. All right, what we can do is, got a little flour in the bowl, that's okay. But what we can do is, we can hold the bowl over and we can see just how much you want it to overlap by about an inch. So we're just going to roll it out just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. That looks like it should be enough. Yes, that's going to be enough. At least I think. Let's see. Looks pretty sufficient just by eyeballing it. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to remove this top part of the parchment paper. We're going to remove that top part. Hopefully it won't stick. Hopefully it cooperates with us. We 
coat. So far, so good. There we go. I like using parchment paper because I just find that it's a little bit easier for me um, to roll it out. I'm not a professional, so um, I'm sure my bakers out there, I'm sure that uh, they can do it a lot better than me. But uh, there it is. So we're just gonna set this piece down. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the dough on top of this rolling pin. And then what we'll do is we'll lay it in our bowl. So we're just gonna do this here. Just keep turning it. All right, now that's off. It's on the pin. And now we're just gonna lay it in our bowl. All right. I'm just gonna lay it in our bowl. All right, that looks good. And now we're gonna work on shaping our crust here. So let's work on shaping this crust. Now, by all means, I don't claim to be an expert at this, but I think that we can get a pretty, pretty decent crust. And we can, if we don't have enough crust on one side, we can steal from another side and lend it, and lend it over to the other side. So I think when it's all said and done, I think our pie crust will be fine. certain technique that I use. Like I said, I'm not um, an expert at doing this. But like I said, I think we'll make a decent pie crust here. As you can see, it's a little, as you can see, it's a little less on this side than it is on the other side. So we'll probably steal some from that side and bring it over to this side when it's all said and done. First, we wanna press down and make sure that it's settled and on the bottom pretty good. That's what we're gonna do. Make sure that it's settled and on the bottom pretty good. Might have to lift it a little bit. And we just want the pie crust on the inside to touch all part of the deep dish. All right. I think we've done that. And now we're gonna start trying to form us a crust here. And what I'm doing is I'm just rolling it up and then we'll we'll just we'll just go from there. Once it's all rolled up, we'll just go from there and we'll try to start to form somewhat of a pie crust here. Rolling it up, not really trying to form it yet. Seems like we have a lot over here, so we'll probably take some of this excess, place it on the parchment paper. And just, uh, all right, so now we're gonna just try to start to form somewhat of a crust here. And the, the wonderful thing about pie dough is that you can pretty much shape it to the way you want. It's very malleable, it's very shapeable. It 
bends, but it doesn't break. And so, uh, doesn't look pretty yet, but we'll get it there. Just really trying to, all right, so we have a lot over here. So we're gonna take from over here and we're gonna bring it to some places that we don't have a whole lot of crust. Okay, I'm just gonna take from where there's, where there's a lot of uh, crust, and we're just gonna take from there, and we're just gonna add on to other areas. And what I like to do is, I just like to roll it up, and I just like to sit it on top, like that. A lot of excess here. some here and maybe we'll put it in the low-lying areas if you will this being one of them okay if the crust can basically stay uniform all the way around as far as the height and the depth I think we'll be very satisfied And don't worry, folks, I've uh, sanitized my table before I've worked with this stuff, so. Table's clean. This pie dough has uh, got about a stick of butter in it. The heat from your hand will help melt the butter somewhat so that it can really um, be shaped the way you want it to be shaped. I'm just go making a round one more time. This here doesn't want to lay down for some reason. That's okay, it's nothing major. We pretty much got the shape here of our pie dough. Or should I say the width of it? And then we're gonna start to shape it. Okay, so now we wanna give this somewhat of a professional look, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold our finger like this, almost like a, I guess you could say, a Y or V or whatever you wanna call it. And we're just gonna press in with our finger, like a little indentation. And then we'll move it down to the next one. Same thing, just gonna press it in, just like that. Okay, this is gonna shape our pie crust. see just giving it a little shape just by pinching in like that holding your fingers like this and just pinching in
do this all the way around the pie crust, all around the bowl here. This is the way our pie crust is going to look. Okay, folks, that's going to wrap up our video. Thanks for watching on how to shape your homemade pie dough. I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can watch my full video on how to make easy, best ever homemade pie crust recipe. Make a flaky, buttery, pie crust from scratch. I'll include that video uh, in the link in the description with the objective of you making your own pie dough for your own pie crust so that you can enjoy the marvelous desserts that you love to eat. Pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, chicken pot pie. Just look at, look at that crust. Just look how flaky I'm telling you, it's so flaky, it's buttery, it's just absolutely delicious. You can also enjoy things like uh, lemon meringue pie, blueberry pie, cherry pie. Um, truly is an endless amount of things that you can do once you know how to make and shape your own pie dough. Um, I'll be putting out a video um, very soon on how to uh, shape your top pie crust and I also will show the lattice uh, method of making pie crust. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification bell as well. Comments are encouraged. And thanks for watching. But most importantly, don't forget to bon appetit, peoples. To bon appetit.